Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to find the volume when you're dealing with an irregular shape. Um, in this case, we have a hemisphere and a cone. So there's a couple formulas that I want to talk to you about. The first one is, is that a sphere to find the volume, it's four thirds pi r cubed. So a hemisphere would be half of that. So we would take half of four thirds pi r cubed, or we could simplify this to two thirds pi r cubed. So in order to find the volume of the top part, we would use this formula right here. The volume of a hemisphere is two thirds pi r cubed. And then we also have a cone here. So remember that the volume for a cone is equal to one third pi r squared h. So if we're finding the volume of both of these put together, to find the volume, we would take the volume of the hemisphere, so two thirds pi r cubed, and then we would add to it the volume of the cone, one third pi r squared h. So we have to find the information in order to plug it. The first thing that we need is the radius. Both of them deal with the radius. And so the radius on this, since our diameter is 12 feet, 12 is all the way across. Um, remember that the relationship between the diameter and the radius is that uh, the diameter is equal to twice the radius, or the radius is one half of the di diameter. So to find this part right here, we would take half of 12, which would give us six. So our radius is going to be six. Plus, we would have one third pi times six squared. So we found our radius, we were able to plug that in. But now what we need to do is we need to find the height. So in order to find the height, the height is talking about this part right here. And they didn't tell us the height, but they did give us the fact that we have an acute triangle here. Okay, so and we have an isosceles triangle, sorry, an isosceles acute, I used the wrong term. Um, but since both of these are the same, this is an isosceles triangle. And in an isosceles triangle, the height bisects um, the base. So that tells us that we have a right triangle here where one of the legs is six, the hypotenuse is 10, and so we would have to find the other um, leg of this right triangle. So we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In this case, we would say that the height squared plus 6 squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. So we would just solve this equation. So I would have height squared plus 36 equals 100. And then when I subtract the 36, we would have height squared equals 64. So I just did 100 minus 36. And when I take the square root of that, we can see that the height is 8. So my height of this is going to be 8 feet. And that's what I would plug in for my height in the cone. Okay. Um, so now it's a matter of simplifying. And again, whenever you're dealing with volume, make sure that you read your directions carefully uh, because it is possible that they're going to want an exact answer and they're going to want to leave it in terms of pi. Um, so if you take 6 cubed, that is 216, and then you divide it by 3 and multiply it by 2, uh, this part right here simplifies into 144 pi. And this part over here, if I take the 6 squared, which is 36, and I divide it by 3, that gives me 12 times 8, gives me 96. And if I simplify this, I end up with 240 pi 
feet cubed. So if it asks for an exact answer in terms of pi, this would be your an exact answer. Okay. Um, if you are approximating, it's always best to wait until the very end to approximate because then it's going to be your most accurate answer. Um, so if you're approximating, you can choose to either use pi or you can choose to use 3.14. Okay. Um, so if I plug this into my calculator, if I just use the pi button on my calculator, I can go to any scientific calculator, find the pi button, and do 240 times pi. I end up with approximately 753.98 feet cubed. And if I use 3.14 in place of pi, which is always going to be less accurate, it's acceptable, it's just that the more um, decimal places that you leave it to when you're approximating, the more accurate your answer is. So this is going to be a more accurate approximation. Uh, if I plug in the 3.14, I end up with 753.6 cubic feet. So uh, just be careful about reading your directions with whether they want you to use 3.14 or whether they want you to use pi. If you are working on an online homework platform and you keep getting it wrong, maybe try using the opposite one and see if that fixes it. Um, also, if they ask for an exact answer, make sure you leave it in terms of pi. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.